welcome to Craters Gaming. Today we're going to be making a suspension bridge out of Jenga blocks and some popsicle sticks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. To start off with, we're just going to be using some twine, my popsicle sticks that I am going to cut the size. These are going to be about two inches wide and I am going to go ahead and cut them now. And I'm just going to roughly cut these. I'm not going to clean up the edges like I normally do because these are supposed to be older planks. So I wanted to give them that older plank feel. <laughs> Once I cut out as many as I feel like doing, because <laughs> really truly you can make these as long or as short as you want. I'm going to go ahead and draw in the wood grain, which you will see through the paint here in a minute. And for the stone pieces that go on the ends, I'm going to use a Jenga piece, which I am cleaning up the edges to make them look more like a boulder instead of a block of wood. And with that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and set them up where it'll be easier to paint on this little mat and not mess up my cutting pad. I think it looks janky enough and I have a hard time cleaning off the paint off of it, so we don't want to mess it up anymore. Instead, we're using a cutting mat that I also got from the Dollar Tree to go ahead and paint on. I do like how the pin marks showed up through the brown paint. I'm going to leave it like that. I was going to black bomb it like I'm doing the stonework, but I'm just, I feel lazy today, so we're not doing that. Instead, we're going to go ahead and dry brush to give them an older look I'm using my pat the khaki matte finish acrylic paints. And I'm also going to do that to the boulder to give it more of a 3D look. We're going to go ahead and pause the video right here to remind you that you can become a Patreon or buy us a coffee. All proceeds go towards furthering the channel and buying supplies. If you help out, you do get a shout out. Step for the boulder, we're using an elephant gray because it really brings out those details that we cut into it. And I did not do a wash on this project whatsoever because I liked the end product. I thought it looked really neat. And some of you will also notice that I'm not flocking this at all because it looks perfect. Why mess with it? Starting to end this project probably took me about 20 minutes. Not a bad timing. If you need to knock it out quick, this is great. Now for the fun part. We are still using our low heat gun. We don't want to use the high heat gun because then we'll burn the snot out of our fingers. <laughs> But I am going to go ahead and roughly measure out how much I'm going to need and I'm going to get started with that gluing. This step of the project we're just going to put a little daub of hot glue on there and just wrap it around and hold it for like a second. With this being low heat we are not burning our fingers so this is great. Just wrap it around as tight as you'd like um, and then it's done. A lot faster than tacky glue. <laughs> And for once, I'm actually not fighting with the stringers from the hot glue. That's mostly from the twine that I'm using. I'm just using the same method that I did on the blocks with the little planks. Uh, just putting a little dab of hot glue on the back side and wrapping the twine around. And only reinforcing the hot glue is needed. And you're just going to repeat until done. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward where you can see where I go with the magnets. And y'all probably recognize these from an earlier video, my stackable terrain. I really love these. They're very versatile. We're going to have a bit of trial and error. I do not like this magnetic tape. It does not stick to itself very well. Do you see here? It does not hold the weight very well. It just drops. I tested some of the Dollar Tree magnets that I had and they stank too. They did not stick. So we're going to go with some washers on the actual bridge itself. And that actually worked out pretty good. I did leave the magnetic tape on the blocks themselves as you can see in the background. And that actually worked out all right. Consider this a problem solved and it passed the mini weight test so I don't have to worry about it falling in the middle of a game so win-win. Using my mini from Mary de Loincloth, my dwarf barbarian, it stands up to the test pretty well. 
Well, there you have it. Super easy, fairly quick little project. The most expensive part is the washers on the back because as you saw in the video, the magnets I was having issues with. I did not like the Dollar Tree magnets. The only thing that they like to stick to is themselves. And the magnetic tape does not like to stick to itself at all. <laughs> so we ended up using the washers and the magnetic tape instead. But that works out just fine. There you have it. If you like the video, hit the like, subscribe, share the video. Helps out a whole lot, and I hope to see y'all again next Friday. Bye!